Hi, this is Dan Sugar. I'm back with answers to the Uncle Bob at Thanksgiving dinner questions about solar. So Uncle Bob may have said, well, solar, just not reliable. It's not producing when the sun doesn't shine and wind doesn't work when the wind doesn't blow. Thanks for that question, Uncle Bob. Here's how it actually is working out in real life. First of all, when the technology is supposed to be producing, solar is the most reliable form of energy production with the fewest unscheduled outages of anything. So during the day, solar is working well over 99% of the time. Now, solar and wind pair beautifully together. Mm -hmm. We're seeing this in Texas and other locations where solar comes up first thing in the morning. And as the solar winds down toward evening, the wind is up at full power and goes till about midnight in most places. So that's a good thing. What we've also seen are now that batteries are very affordable, an enormous addition of batteries into the grid both co-located with solar and wind projects and also standalone projects. Last year, there were five gigawatts of batteries operational in the grid. By the end of this year, we're expecting about 15 gigawatts. That's a lot of power. And within three years, we're expecting 50 gigawatts or more. That's an enormous amount of capacity. The batteries have now moved to about four hours of storage. So if you're on a solar tracker, like we do at Next Tracker, and those long summer days, systems are going to sleep around six, seven in the evening, that four hours gets you through the evening peak. So solar together with wind, batteries, affordability is an extremely reliable source of power that's helping the light stay on.